Welcome back guys to the next episode of Twilight Princess where we're still on the trail for Ilya's memories of course we've jogged a little bit of them and are heading to a new location. Should be north of this bridge as it were at and Darvis has gone off to sort it out. We'll call him Guile from now on because he does look like Guile. He's got the Guile haircut. He needs the Guile theme as well. But thankfully we restored this bridge earlier because now it's proved quite useful for our travel all in all. So we are heading for the little bridge just up past here. And that should bring us to our next location, so to say. If I'm correct, anyway, of my memory, let's put it that way. If I'm correct with that. Oh, not you. Don't knock me off the horse again. You did it last time when I ran into the wall. It was horrific. I fell too much lately. You guys can't hit me. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Ha ha ha. So if I'm correct in saying, it should be right here. And in fact it is. Ow, don't shoot me in the foot. Ow, and the knee. My god. Honest to god. I'm sure Legend of Zelda invented this arrow to the knee trope before any other game did. But this cave is now open for us to explore. So we must save a member of the tribe that protects the Hylian royal family. Can't guess who this might be as a character, can you? Considering... Bashing away there, sir. Considering all characters are kind of reincarnated in a sense. Go on, Guile. Do Sonic Boom! There is a hidden village up ahead, little human. And the elders call it a forgotten place. This scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30. No, at most 20 of them ahead. Nice estimate there. First of all, you like 30. Okay, at 20. Oh, that's not too bad. They're probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret of besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Bow and arrow time. Got a little human? You can roll away, sir. That's cool. Don't help me or anything. I know I can do it on my own, but still. Offering would be nice. And so we enter possibly another stealth sequence. A Wild West shootout. Really though, it wouldn't be too harsh for me to just charge them. I love the music. A full Wild West scene. Proper Wild West. So, I guess the first place I want to head is this away. Can I jump through? No. I was hoping I could in some way. Maybe with the wolf. I can sneak around in ways that I couldn't otherwise. Or maybe not. No dig spots that I can see. So can I just shoot them from range? Will will killing them get me in any kind of trouble? These are all questions I need to answer. I mean, some of them are very out in the open and kind of alone-ish. Well, that caused that guy to come look. But then he didn't do anything about it. So then I shot that guy in the ass and no one did anything about it. So with some good sniping here. Speaking of which, sniping. Sniping, sniping, sniping. I bought this item but never used it. How about we give it a go, eh? And I kind of messed up the uh, choices there. How about we give it a go? Look at this. Some crazy zoom in and zoom out. Sniping sequence. Are these explosive barrels? Yes, they are. Zoom out. Sounds kind of crazy technical, doesn't it? Sounds kind of like full on. Oh, there's a guy up there. I see you, sir. Headshot. Oh, more like chest, but whatever. Off he goes. 
Oh, you moved. How dare you move? That was going to be a really good shot. I hit the barrel anyway, but whatever. Oh, that def Can I hit his... No, I probably can't. And that doesn't hit my though. Oh, we can still move up from here, that's for sure. Question for me comes to how to get up into these buildings. But that's a nice vantage point, isn't it, if anything? <laughs> He's like, oh no, what happened? Oh, what, I shot you? There we go. Headshot. Any more? Oh. And a massive explosion to boot. So we've only got nine more opponents left. There was one up there. Next to the barrel. Not very good to stand next to those barrels, sir. It really is not. You should know better. So where do I go from here? Can't get into this building. You say the best thing is to kill these guys before they see you, but can I just break through? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, I see you. We took out the guy in here. Didn't see that guy before, but now we have a path to the top. Stealth sequence. Not very stealthy because I'm killing literally everyone, but whatever. The Hawkeye involved, we've actually destroyed virtually everyone. I'm kind of worried about what might be on that sign. No, no one on the sign? That sounds like a good place for a shootout for me, especially if I was a sniper. Go up high on that sign. Sort everyone out. So we can jump from balcony to balcony. There must be guys within these buildings that we're after next. Can I push you down? Ah, I see you, sir. And you see me as well, but did you see that quick step dodge? That was planned. That was intentional. Oh, this is very hard to aim, though, as well, because it's a different aiming system. I see you down there, but where did you go now? I'm sure I saw a guy right underneath me. I can't hit you from here. The mysterious swordsman descends from the sky. Ah, mysterious guy appears from above. It says that it's easier to kill these guys if you're them. Um... Where are you? And look at the amount of luck that was. My god. One random jump, one found thing. Okay, I'd like to point out there's no way I can remember that. Okay, let's just like... If you know what I'm doing right now, it's just to get the blue markers up. Okay, okay, we're getting more blue markers up. There's no way I can remember it straight off, I'm afraid. I'm just not that kind of person. So it must be at the end there. So I'm missing one note, maybe? Okay, I'm missing something in between there. If I listen to it again, I think it removes my blue bars.
There we go. See, if it was like the old Legend of Zelda, left, right, up, down, I remember those combinations quite well. But things like that, for some reason, I don't. Not very well at all. Lovely blue bars, you lead my way to victory. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. For the last sword skill, if I'm right. And it looks like to be around Hyrule Castle. Because every time you see the cutscene, it tells you basically where it is. And there we go. Ow! Where are you this time, sir? You're on top of the building! No wonder you could hit me from a ridiculous angle. And all the guys have respawned. That was not what we wanted, was it? Can I pick up these arrows? Keep firing at me, guy. I need some more arrows. Right. That guy died in an interesting fashion. This has turned out really badly for us. In a really, like, it was so lucky to find it kind of way. But then it was really, really... Oh, I can't climb in. Why not? That's odd. Well, time to do it the uh, manual way, which is... Rush in, kill everything. Hello! Bye-bye! I can't bash through there. Oh, well, I didn't have the bow and arrow. Oh, what the hell? Just just obey me, bow and arrow. That's it, normal bow and arrow. Oh, my God! It won't let me target him properly. It keeps going off the targeting every so often. Alright, that was messing me up. Okay, we're in the middle of the town, so that means stealth elements go out the window now. Stealth elements are completely gone. Except you're looking the wrong way because you're an idiot. Okay, originally we started off stealthy. It was going well. Now, however... Now, however, we change tactic. Now we kill things. Try again, guys. I'm just going to wreck your town. Even though it's not technically your town. Oh, you're going to wreck me. Okay, never mind then. This is an actual assault now rather than a stealth scene. <laughs> it's morphed into something far worse than it originally was. If I'm as far away as possible, you can't shoot me anymore, yes? Yes? Good. Which allows us to use the distance again to get some nice shots on some guys. If there wasn't a box in the way. There's another two down. Only one down? Yeah, two down. Thank you. Oh, man. Wait, why now? Why are you now a good shot? What the hell? That guy's a miraculous shot. What the hell? Secret guy hiding in... Stop locking me on to targets I can't possibly deal with. 
I think I did get that guy, yes? Good, good, good. Oh, there's a guy up there as well. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have used this wolf statue. I blame that. Look at that shot, eh? I bet you didn't even see that guy. One guy left, and he's in that window. And he can't shoot me, strangely enough. Which way did you fall out, sir? So that was the gunfight at the OK Corral. I mean, it first started off stealthy and really good, and then ended up into complete and utter chaos. The howls of the beasts, they faded into silence. Wait, are you? The saviour, it's you, the saviour. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impaz, with a Z. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Ollis? Ah, I knew it. So then, you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it, visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me blather on. I have a favour to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. You got Ilya's charm. Ilya left his charm with the woman who saved her. It's a clue to restoring Ilya's memory. Set to be on the minor screen, blah blah blah, yakety smackety. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. Will do, ma'am. Will do. After the gunfight at the OK Corral. This town is derelict, but at least it's not full of bad guys anymore. Small, small virtues, I guess. That dear girl deserves her charm back. And tell her that this old biddy was very grateful. Can I head in your house? I want to see what's inside. I'm not going to rob you, honest. I hope your house is pretty barren. I can imagine though it probably is after being trapped in there. So that leaves me with one thing left to do this episode. To head to Hyrule Castle. Why you say? To learn the last sword skill. Off we go. Off into a corner. It would scare someone really. Um, I'm kind of hidden away. Can she see me in this whole village or something? Really? I mean, it's not like she can see me anymore. I'm a bit far away, all in all. Really? She can see through walls and buildings and everything. More to the point, the game probably just wants to ferry me back through this tunnel. For maybe storyline purposes. No, the game's just being fussy. I don't care if you see me. You can be scared all you like of me warping into a wolf. But we're going to learn the next sword skill. His opponent just waiting there and is like, oh, never mind, warping away. Bye. Okay. Let's head into town. And get what we desire. Roll, Link. Roll. Roll as fast as you can. I'm kind of slightly disappointed that the postman didn't appear. We also need it to become day. 
It would be nice to have it become day again. After waiting so long for it to become night, it's just never changing back. Central scare of Castle Town, no one around, of course. But there is one thing to check out, that's for sure. Unless he's behind the barrier, which would suck immensely after travelling this far. Ah, you're in front. Hello, Golden Wolf, sir. Let me learn your sword skills, previous Link, who learnt them over a long, arduous life after his stint as the hero of time. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique, and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can only be earned by the one true hero? Very well. Then before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now then, come at me! Are you not splitting into multiple beasts, are you? Get smashed down. Excellent, it appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my final hidden skill is... The Great Spin. Let it be hoon into your mind. You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that power is when your life energy is brimming full. Sword beams! Thank you. Now try unleashing this spin attack on me. Sure thing. There's multiple ones of you, it doesn't bother me. Let's spin it away. That seemed like a normal spin to me. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the great spin, has been passed on. Actually, it sounds far more vicious, doesn't it? You learn the final hidden skill, the great spin, with full life energy and unleash your spin attack for extra damage. You have at last mastered all of the hidden skills. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last I have eased my regrets. You who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last. You who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded. Surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of yours, the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go and do not falter, my child. Literally. Not maybe his direct descendant as in father's son, but is still a direct descendant in the fact of grandfather, great-grandfather. Possibly. So that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. We've found what we need to restore Ilya's memory and learn the last sword skill of the game. Pretty good day's work. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you around next episode. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.